All right, there we go. We are live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel. We love comics, and today, of course, is Comic Book Wednesday, the 17th of October, 2018. Currently 12.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we're going to start showing some books today. Welcome, everybody. I see uh, Stephen Oates actually made his comment last night at uh, sometime around midnight, so that was nice to see. Uh, Comic Addictions is here. but Well, he says he's at work, but hopefully he can watch. Dan Lewis is here. Austin and Vicky Moore, hello. Uh, Lewis is here. Geoff is here. Wild Child, all right, we got a bunch of people. And uh, you guys want to say hello to one of my cats? This is Oregon. So he's going to say hello to you guys. He wanted to be a part of this show. And um, not a lot of comics this week, but still some you might want to check out. And because um, anytime there aren't a lot of books to show, I will do one of the episodes of The Choose, where I will show three different boxes, and you guys get to pick which one you think will be the key issue. There will either be a key issue, a not bad book, and one will be a dud. So if you did not see some of these videos, they're actually fun, and you guys get to participate in them. So hopefully you guys will stick around for that. And at the end, I always do the surprise subscriber shout out. So hopefully you'll stick around for that. So let's get into it. The first book I got, because it's on my pull list, uh, this is a book. This is Venom issue number one. Uh, well, this is annual number one. Now, I remember back in the days when annuals used to be like two to three times the thickness of a regular book. Well, that is not the case for this. This seems like just a regular comic. And uh, this is the one comic I didn't look at the price tag because it was on it was in my poll list, so I didn't bother to think about it. And it's four ninety nine. So in typical uh, Marvel fashion these days, I guess they want us to get used to four ninety nine, which is not going to work for me. But like I said, I didn't see it because it was in my pull list. This is the annual. If you if you like Venom and you want to get it, you know, like I said, just because I have an opinion about something doesn't mean you have to agree. Keep that in mind. But, I, like I said, annuals to me used to be very thick books, and they were worth the price. But this basically looks like the typical, just regular comic. So, Marvel, you really gonna just not... Well, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. Marvel needs to do a better job. Alright, this one, normally I won't pick up a Marvel book, because usually their number ones are four ninety nine. but this isn't the case for this one. Uh, this is Infinity Warps and... Weapon Hex, issue number one. Uh, and in typical Marvel fashion, there are some variants, but I didn't. I'm not going to be like those. The way I used to be when I used to buy every single variant back in 2015, 2016. Now it's like I'll get one, maybe two at best. But for 3.99, it's worth taking the chance on. Obviously, with the cover with uh, Weapon X, aka the old Wolverine. Might be worth picking up. Uh, this one, I've never heard of this um, this comic, but there's just something about this cover that really intrigued me. So many people, I'm sure, may not have talked about this book. This is from a company called Scout Comics. It's called The Source. Now, obviously, I didn't, I haven't read it or anything, so I don't know anything about it. But it's got, I don't know, just to me, it's one of those less is more type of covers. I just, something about this one really drew my attention to it. Seems like very good quality paper. Seems very thick. This book actually feels a little bit heavier than just the uh, annual that you saw. Uh, $3.99 price tag. It almost has like a Pirates of the Caribbean kind of feel to it. I mean, obviously, until we open it up and check it out, you won't know. But this might be something that could be a potential sleeper. Because I'm sure with an unknown comic company... There's not going to be a high print run. So, you never know. It might be worth taking the chance on. And hey, if it ends up not anything special, you only spent $3.99. Alright, this is another one um, that caught my attention. This is from Dark Horse Comics. Uh, this is based on the video game Dragon Age. So, this is Dragon Age issue number one. And again, I believe there were a couple of different... Um, you know, variants and stuff. I just bought the regular cover. But for $3.99, again, worth taking the chance on. Again, this is probably going to be something with a lower print run. Who knows these days? A lot of times they make video games, popular ones, into movies. So who knows? 
All right, so I only have one more comic because, like I said, there's not a lot of major comics this week. But I am going to be doing the edition of Choose, so stick around. And also, I will pick today's surprise subscriber shout-out. But this one, I think, is going to be the sleeper pick. So I bought the regular and the variants on this one. I don't know, just something about this one. Um, it's by Image Comics. Good on them for doing $3.99 for a number one. This is called Exorcisters. Of course, because, you know, they have to take something old and turn it into something new. So I'm sure it has to do with something that has to do with the exorcism. Just my guess, my guess. But that is the regular cover. And I've got two of the variant. To me, I think this is going to be one of the sleeper picks. So this might be a book worth checking out, especially if you can get it for cover price. Because you know these days... If a book has any hint of anything of success, nowadays, the same day it comes out, people will sell it on eBay for $15, $20, $30. So nowadays, if you're not sure, it's worth taking the chance on. Get one, and hey, if it doesn't work out, you spend $3.99. But you don't want to be one of those people that if you pass this up at the comic book store, and then by the time you get home, you find out, oh, this is a really popular book, now you go on eBay, it's selling for $20. You know, to me, that's just ridiculous that some people do that. But hey, that's capitalism at its finest. You know, if, for every person that's willing to sell something, if there's a person willing to buy it, you know, they can put whatever price they want. But people got to remember, it's always a buyer's market. It's not what people are willing to sell something for. It's what people are willing to buy something for. So that's why I try and tell people all the time, work, work out deals. And if something is too expensive... You either do one of two things, wait for a deal or say, you know what, I'm just not going to pay the top price on this book and I'll just say, you know what, I missed out. I mean, like, for example, as of now, the Batman Damned, number one, the regular covers, they're hovering around $50. They're ranging between, I've seen, like, $45 to $65 range, but it's been that way for the past week or so. So if you bought at that high point, you'll see that there are, I mean, especially if you're going to sell them, there's, as of now, no profits. Because it's staying stagnant. Now that could go down or it could go up. Who knows? But as of now, if you're paying top price for something just to have a book, then, you know, not for nothing. If you bought it because you wanted to read it, you can get a digital copy. So don't overspend based on emotion. That's one of the things I try and teach people. Um, some people are going to do it no matter what. Hey, I mean, that's, it's your money. You can do whatever you want with it. I'm trying to save you money because remember, whether you spend your money or don't send, spend your money, whether you save money or don't save money, it doesn't affect me in any way. So I'm doing it just to kind of help people out. So those are the books, but stick around because we have three packages that you guys get to choose from. We will open one of them up. One will be a key issue. One will be a not, not bad at all. And another will be the dud. So you're going to have to try and communicate with each other and see if you cannot be fooled. Uh, last video I did a couple of, uh, like a day ago, day and a half ago, because I did it at night. Um, you guys got me twice. You got the key issue once. You got the not bad book the second time, or the first time actually. And the third time I was able to get you with the dud. So let's see if you guys can work together. So uh, I'm going to show the packages, then you're going to vote. Remember, you only get to vote once. You cannot change your vote. And if you want to talk amongst yourselves, please do. But here we go. Let's show the three books. And then after that, we will do the surprise subscriber shout out. So the more you make your voice heard, the more likely you are to get it. So really quick, I want to say Ashen, hello, Jay, um, Future Finds, Pages, Film, and Plastic, Sequential Geek, Chaos Lord, Jay Littles, a uh, bunch of you, I see 70 people watching, so I'm very happy to see that. Check out this, um, under the playlist, this is um, under the category of choose. So it's something you guys get to interact with. So here we go, they're already picking numbers yet. Don't vote yet, but uh, this is package number one. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show the other side because it has my tracking number and information. But as you can see, this seems to be very well sealed. Looks to be in very good condition. Seems to be very thick, so there could be a lot of comics in there. Or it could be the dud, you never know. You'll just have to see if you choose number one. This one, you guys know I always love. It's the wonderful envelope that 
they're nice enough to write do not bend always love when they think that's like you know the kryptonite to the postal workers but it looks like it's intact they were nice enough to make sure not only it was folded but taped because you know i do the same thing like to me that is not protection if you're going to mail something just putting that little metal flap and bending it forward so i'm happy they did that so if you want to see what's under door number two you'll just have to pick that and last but not least we have another, well, this is a longer one, so maybe this could potentially be a graded book. There could be several books in there, or this could be my dirty laundry. You never know. I have done that before. So, there are no big boxes today. All three are comic book envelopes, so you'll have to decide what you think is going to be the one that you guys need to pick. So, right as of now, when you are ready, just pick which door you want. And then we'll go from there. So, happy bidding, everybody. Let's see. Jay says, DC isn't going to put out a second print. Yep, that's very true. Well, technically they said, as of now, they're not putting out a another print. To me, that says they will eventually. So, remember, you got to listen to the words. Because DC did say they're not going to put a second print out at this time. That doesn't mean forever. So I have a feeling, knowing how profitable that one was, I have a feeling that they will do a second print eventually, but I believe it will be censored. All right, so people are very afraid of box number two. I find that interesting. So because that's an envelope, you're being scared away. So far, only one person picked number two. Now, the funny part is, I might have known that you guys would think that way and purposely made it look that way, so you would not even consider it. And so far, that is working rather well. But we'll find out once you make the pick. All right, so a couple of twos are coming in now. So remember, I have done reverse psychology before, so you never know. And Eric says, I'm holding on to my Batman Damned. You should. I definitely recommend that. But I, I as of now, I wouldn't spend $60 on the regular cover. I mean, I missed out on it. I have the, the actual one, well, it's not even a Wumpa Store variant, but the um, the variant version of it, the, um, what is it called, the uncorrected proof, that one's worth about two 300 So, I mean, it depends. All right, so, a couple of people saying three. So, it looks like three and one are going to be the choices. So, you guys have definitely been, full, I mean, you guys are definitely staying away from box number two. So three more votes, and we will find it. So basically at this point, unless all of a sudden 50 people start voting for number two, I will take out the key issue and get let you guys see what books we have that you have left. So three more votes, and now it'll be decided. Uh, Manny, so the comic collector says it just saw a damn for 50. Also remember, it depends on the condition these books can get dirty very quickly. There's a lot of smears. Make sure you look at the back of the book. I see a lot of people making auctions where they only show the front. Be very careful about that. All right. So we are going to close it now. And let's see what Ryan Adams says. DC says it feels shamed about the book. Well, I mean, they're saying that politically. I, I guarantee you they know that they did it because it would be controversial and it would sell. So, you know, what they say publicly and what they do privately are two different things. But, yeah, of course they're going to say the right things. It says, while I know people think that they will make a second print, I really think that DC is going to move on from this book. Here's the thing why I, I mean, here's what I think they're going to do, and this is my opinion. And, by the way, you guys picked number one, so we're going to open the first box. DC is going to make money on this. They already did. They sold out every single book probably within the day or within at least 24 hours. There is no way in my mind they're not going to make a second print. They'll just re maybe cut out that last scene completely. Like not even just censor it. Maybe they just might just totally rewrite the last page. But make no mistake, I guarantee you when they make a second print, and this is just my opinion, it may be months from now, but when they do a second print, I really think a lot of people are going to buy it, especially the ones that missed out on the first print. So I, it would be shocking to me if DC decides as a company to do the right thing 
and decides never to make another print of that. I mean, stranger things have happened, but when it comes to businesses where they can pretty much almost guarantee themselves to make money, it's going to be very hard to convince the shareholders of DC Corporation to not do something that could make them almost guaranteed money. But I guess we'll find out. But that's why I really think you got to listen to the words. When DC said they're not going to be making a second print, the words that I picked up on were when they said, at this time, which means they're not going to do it right away. To me, that says they're going to do it, just not right away. I think they're going to wait until all this cools and blows over, and you'll see it later on. I could be wrong, but we'll find out. All right, so with that being said, this is the comic book you picked. You all pretty much stayed away from number two. And I'm not going to tell you whether you made a smart decision or I fooled you. You're just going to have to see here what you think this is. All right, so, and if you like these, please check out the playlist because I have a whole section of these. And as long as you're on your cell phone or a laptop or anything like that, when I do these live, you can participate. And it's something more than just being a spectator. And if you like that kind of stuff, because I see some of my regulars, they keep coming in to participate in these. And they say they're having fun with them, and that's what I like to hear. All right, so we have an envelope, we have an envelope in an envelope, and then an envelope in an envelope. I wonder how many more envelopes there will be. Hmm. All right, so I can happily say for you all that you did not pick the dud. And what you did pick, and it looks like they got a little bent in, the, there, in there because they just basically threw them in crappy bags and boards. So bad job on the seller. But we have alias number five. Pressing will help him, but even still. Alias number four and three. So they were kind enough to save bag and boards by not putting them in separate boards. And then issue two, which is signed by Brian Michael Bendis. And issue one, signed by Brian Michael Bendis. So I will be placing these in new bag and boards because, I mean, these things are, like, definitely not keeping them in. So at least it looks like issue one and two, the most important ones. Doesn't look like they got damaged. But I spent a total for all five books, with including shipping and handling, of $125, which is $25 each. Especially for this book right here. This is a first print. Issue number one signed. And issue number two signed. Definitely cannot complain about that. So that is the book that you chose. I will say this. You did not pick the key. But you did not pick the dud either. So that is it for that game. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And I always know if you do by being kind enough to give it a thumbs up. If you want to do that, I appreciate it. If you want to hit subscribe, that's awesome. Let me do today's surprise subscriber shout out. And that will go to oh, we'll say it in the in the name. We'll have to say Lucky Phil. You are today's lucky surprise subscriber shout out. So hopefully you are still here to be able to see that. And if you do, uh, congratulations on that. And if anybody else wants a surprise subscriber shout out, all you have to do is be a subscriber. On the live shows, I don't verify. So, I mean, you could not be a subscriber, but I hope I earn your subscription. And um, make sure when this uploads, come back, leave a little note for yourself, leave a comment. I always respond to each and every one of them. And uh, hopefully you enjoy these type of videos. So I don't want to make this too long. Go out there, get your comic books, especially some of them that I showed. If you think they're worth getting, some of them probably going to be a low print run. So your comic book stores maybe might have two or three of them at best. Um, if there are three comics on the shelf, don't take all three. Take one or two, leave something for someone else. And uh, remember, it's supposed to be about the fun of collecting, not just making money. Money's nice, but it shouldn't be the end-all, be-all. 
So thank you very much, everybody, to get over 70 people at one point watching this video. Really means a lot to me. I hope you enjoy your day. Happy collecting. Be safe out there. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Old, new, and signed. You avoided the dud. Good job. Peace out, everybody.